Mutual. Technically, started off as subscribers because I met them on Spamily, my old spam account that I made for my subscribers. That's my real deal friends though. Like, I don't see them as just subscribers. So that's why I'm clickbaiting. Click, clickbaiting. What am I saying? Yo, God, I want to I'm so scared of having this camera on this tripod right now. My camera is very lightweight. The lens is lightweight. But put them together and it's not giving lightweight. I need to wake up. I'm about to put some music on so I can wake up so my eyes don't be watering during my lash appointment. But yeah, when I hit look a little, little, little smooth curve earlier, girl, the camera did a curve too. I said, uh-uh. I'm gonna go take the camera off here because... Two hours later. This came out so cute. My hair is being really weird right now. I came to find a red belt, but I just seen a black tank. Y'all see how it's not like, it comes to your shoulder? I need it. I'm about to go ahead. I think I found it and I found a white one, but I'm going to bring it to the front to see because I feel like this one, the armholes are longer. Or am I tripping? Am I tripping? Yeah, it's this. I think. I'm pretty sure. A few moments later. Like, how hard is it to find a red belt? Very hard, apparently. Oh my god. Why it's so hot? So I haven't even explained to y'all like what's the trip I'm going on. So basically I'm going to Atlanta first, Monday, and then Tuesday afternoon I fly to New York. And then I fly back to Atlanta Thursday afternoon. So it's one friend I'm going to meet in New York and it's one friend I'm going to meet in Atlanta. Both of the girls I met on Spamily, me and Asada are really, really close. And me and Nissa just have so much freaking in common. I'm so sorry for cutting you off right here. I feel bad. I'm blocking the turning. Now I want to talk to y'all. Oh, he made it in. He made it in. He had space. Anyways, um, it's going to turn off in 10 seconds. It, my camera is really hot, y'all. So I'll talk to y'all after my camera cool down. I guess I want to get back to the house the next day it's the next day next night actually i'm not finished packing but everything is ready to get put in the bag i'm just looking at my stack of clothes and looking at the bag like okay it definitely could fit but are my extra pair of shoes gonna fit in with it i don't know and i did find a red belt today my grandmother i don't know why she wanted to go to cg max but she wanted to go to cg max and i was like well let me come because i was looking for a red belt yesterday and i could not find one i went in so many stores and i was like i just feel like one of them old store why i'm one of the old stores like one of the like one of these hood stores is going to have a red belt in there and guess where i found a red belt city trends also we went into ross we was at the register and there was a bright rock angel shirt so i was like can you give me this and so she just added it with the stuff she had picked up. So I'm gonna wear that as pajamas on the trip. But this is my stack of clothes. That's the bag over there. That's my red belt. It was, and then, and then the belt was $2. It was a two for one thing. No, it was a two for four. So it was $2. Exactly, exactly. The hood stores always come through. But yeah, I literally have all my clothes there. It's folded up nice. I know it can fit in that bag, but it's just my shoes. And I just switched the laces on these shoes. These shoes I'm wearing to Barbie. That's literally the only day I'm wearing them. I'm going to have on my platforms for all the other outfits. But I don't know which platforms. I guess I'll show y'all tomorrow once I have the outfit on. Because I don't know if I should put on the Prada boots or the docks. I don't know. But... I'm finally laying down. Like everything is done. Well, the only thing I have to do tomorrow is put everything into the bag. I might put everything into the bag right now just to make sure. I don't know. Yeah, tomorrow all I have to do is my hair. But we're not leaving from here until like 4. My flight doesn't leave to about 8. That's like a two hour drive. But I have clear so I don't have to go through the TSA line. Well, I have to go through TSA but I have to go through the line. So... Yeah, my brother's gonna drop me. And I don't wanna hear nothing from him because I don't know how many times I drove with him to New Orleans just this month. I 
don't hear nothing because he was complaining last time and maybe <gasps> he's gonna make me i just he's going to make me drive anyways i'll talk to y'all tomorrow probably one time dress i don't know if i'm gonna pick it up before or after i'm probably not gonna talk to y'all after my hair is done just because i just feel like if i'm filming while i'm doing my hair something's gonna go wrong and it's gonna take too long and no because the the style that i'm doing is very like tedious it's the rubber band style that i used to do all the time just so like yeah i don't have to really worry about my hair you know but yeah i finna go to sleep so it's tomorrow is d-day i'm so excited to be my mutuals oh my gosh tomorrow i'm trying to decide if i should steam it before or after i, do. I think i'm gonna steam it after i do the rubber band style but i don't know if the steam is gonna be enough for these pieces to curl back up under here we're gonna see I just want to get my hair out the way. I'm doing it early just in case it don't come out like how I want and I have to think of something else. I have to do something else or I have to not rewash it. We're restyling it. Yo, my grandmother redid this bathroom. I think she did it pink for me. She will say she didn't, but I think she did. And these pieces she already had. These pieces are probably older than me. Little black girls. And then yesterday she got this. I don't know what was here. There was another older piece that she's that she's had. I don't know. But I've always loved all her art pieces. Like, um, where's the purple one? This one is one of my faves. It's just so sentimental to me. But yeah, I'm about to get started on my hair. And she recently, she changed all her lights. And last night, I spent like maybe an hour. It probably wasn't even an hour. I spent so much time. I put each one of those crystals on by hand last night. On that ladder. Y'all see the ladder? Yeah. So that was my night last night. But that wasn't my first time doing that. Because my other grandmother, she had like remodeled her house some years back. And I had did it. But then I did all of them backwards. So I had to take them off and put them back. So I'm basically an expert at it. So my grandma was so surprised when I finished before she fell asleep. She was like, you're done. Yeah, girl. Hopefully when my hair is done, hopefully I'm not coming back to y'all with no complications. You need to leave that dope alone. You need to leave that dope alone. <laughs> you need to leave that dope alone. I am done with the rubber bands. That's like a whole hour, but I was watching TikTok the whole time. I was being like really exact with everything. And I was trying to be gentle because this style, it's a lot of manipulation on the softest parts of my hair, the front of my hair, like my edges and stuff. And these rubber bands are kind of tight. So I was being real like precise, gentle, and careful. My hair is real tight right now, but I'm gonna get used to it, especially after I steam. Do it in one. Oh, this is so cute already. The steam is gonna make it shrink up a bit, but not as much as like first day, first wash day, you know. But this is so cute. Yeah, this came out really cute. I did leave little tiny edges. I want to leave them like how they are though. I don't think I'm gonna slick them or anything. Cause like they're not gonna do anything. And then like when I have my hair wrapped at night, it's just gonna lay them. They're, it's tiny like <laughs> and i love how like the ponytails up here like it gives my hair like more a more volume voluminous look because they're like sitting up so it makes the hair look like yes so cute and it also like gives me a little facelift which i love ah okay let me turn i'm gonna take my camera out of here because i don't want it to get all steamed up and i also picked scrunchies for each outfit to match so i am gonna have a scrunchie in case i need to like put my hair up like if something happens you know a few inches later as you can see my hair shrunk a lot and then because i steamed it if i do like come across humidity or something it's not really gonna puff up again because it just soaked up a bunch of water right right but yeah it's like really frizzy right now it, it did like shrink it's so cute <laughs> I'm gonna just chill. Yeah, I said I was gonna get dressed after I finish my hair, but I don't feel like putting on actual clothes right now. I want to stay clean in my bed. My bag, y'all. That bag is so thick. It's so thick. Mm. Yeah. Two hours later. 
so I put this outfit on, right? I got double-sided tape. Like any little movement in my bra is showing, which is why I put on this bra that's close in color. So I'm about to see if I can like tape this to stay down. I'm about to see. I think I got the front. I'm scared to raise my arms. I feel like I should do the back too. Okay. I have tape across my torso, but I think it's good. Yeah, see? The back looks funny. I still haven't decided which shoe I want to bring. And really, it just comes down to if I want a more shiny or a more matte, really. But I think I'm gonna go with these. But I'm gonna take the these off. Plus, I haven't. Re I don't think these docks are broken in. Like talking about, I haven't even worn these since like 2021. I probably wore them once last year. I have not worn them at all this year. So these. Twelve seconds later. Let me put on the number one song for y'all right now. Guess who just got a number one? Let me put. Let me. Crazy. Even he excited, Lord. In my bed, thank you to my bed. In my bed, thank you to my bed. What is it? No, go back. No, girl, it's not even here. <laughs> Much, much later. Yo, my flight got delayed an hour. I was supposed to be leaving like right now, but we're leaving at five and seven and four. Put on my socks and my shoes so I can go get something to eat because I was like, I'm gonna stop to get some Popeyes because they had a coupon for the ghost pepper wings and two sides for five dollars. But I'm gonna wait another hour to eat. Plus, this way I don't have to eat and drive. So, put these heavy shoes on. But like, we were supposed to go to main event tonight when I get to Atlanta and they close at two. So, am I taking the camera with me to Popeyes? Yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me. So I can rant, cause I'm upset. I really am. I might not show it, but I am. I hate when plans change and considering I planned this over a month ago, I'm highly upset right now. And now I can't get this shoe on. Oh, I'm gonna use to change the battery when I get back home. Later that same evening. Y'all, the flight got delayed again. Well, actually, like three times. So the original time we we're supposed to leave at like seven. We we're supposed to get there like ten. Now we're leaving at eleven, getting there like, before two. And it actually was later than that during one of the delays. We we're supposed to be like twelve, get there like three, but they moved it back out. The last delay they had, but yeah, like I said, four. So I don't know what me and this are gonna do tonight. She gonna live a long time. That's why I just takes me. Yeah, I just told her that I'm getting there at two, supposedly. I better not be sleeping at this damn airport, yo. No, I probably call my cousin to come get me because my aunt stays close to the airport. And then I have another aunt that's like 20 minutes away from here. But still, I think I'm gonna go sit to that bar and buy a drink because them cocktails they got on that poster look good. 3:28. A.M. Um, this is Ness. Hey, <laughs> hey, get me. 
after the flight got delayed four times. Yeah. What time it's is literally it? like four in the morning. All these damn pockets. <laughs> it's it's three forty. We sitting at Waffle House. Yeah. We were supposed to go to main event, but main event closed at one. One. We just been sitting here talking. All I got is toast and grits. But I don't. This is so much grits. Oh, she didn't put Yes. Yeah, what now? It just says. Waffle House sauce. You seen nope. this before? No. I've never seen this. I was like, I'd be up. I need. I don't even know what time I have to leave tomorrow. <laughs> I need to check. <laughs> Cause I was like, are we leaving straight from brunch to the airport? Probably so. Okay. But yeah, I've been with this not even probably about an hour, and I've already learned a lot. <laughs> In both countries. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, that was weird. I'm just like, no, it's not. No, we are. <laughs> Wait till I get to her tomorrow. Asada's always making fun of me for being country. There was a TikTok about a guy. He put on his menu the chicken tips from the wings. Like, from a nah, separate nah, thing. I ain't seen that. <laughs> I know exactly. And she was like, I bet you eat these. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah? But I don't, I don't eat chicken. <laughs> now I gotta think of something I don't eat. Because I... <laughs> I'm being out picky right no, now. No, I'm pescatarian. Mmm. Ain't pescatarian chicken and fish? No, or just, just fish? fish. Yeah, just fish. And the crazy thing is, I only like one type of fish, catfish. I don't think I've ever had salmon. I think what? my grandma, like, cooked a different garfish, but I did not like it. And then fish with bones? Mm-mm. Oh, no. Like whitening? No. I think I've only eaten catfish. But you know what? I was thinking about becoming vegetarian, but I think I would starve. <laughs> but I was like a weird kid. Like, I stopped eating bacon when I was like 10 because I just didn't like it. My sister just stopped eating bacon. But she had already been like kind of iffy about pork like the yeah, whole time. Like that was when my, how I was. When my mom would cook sausage, she wouldn't want the meat. The only time I think I would eat chicken is if I go like out of the country or something. Because mm -mm. I want to try, like, I want to try it. I feel you. That's how I feel with beef. Like, I hate beef, but I feel mm -hmm. like I would eat it in other countries. I really have no idea what time I fight it somewhere. Like, I didn't even want to look. Like, I was so turned off <laughs> from that spirit app. I think the last time I, well, I only flew to New Orleans once. I flew spirit. And it got delayed real bad. And why? Someone had got kicked off the plane. Oh. <laughs> and then it was like... The girl, she was just like, no, y'all not taking my mama and all that. People haven't been recognizing me since I dyed my hair black, but she was like, you're the one that does all the colors. And I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> I was trying not to have, like, any kind of, like, infliction in my voice because the guy had just, like, told us, stop putting on our shoes by the thing and just pick up our bags so yeah. other people can get their stuff. Like, he had a little attitude. And then, like, I was trying to rush to stuff my foot into my shoe and I popped the little thing on the back of the shoe. Mm -hmm. So, I did have a little attitude, but I was I was trying. I don't think she heard it. I was trying my hardest. Like, I know my face was scrunched up. Like, I mean, if you think about it, that's a stressful little area to be talking to somebody. I literally, I was hobbling with one shoe on to the little bench because the man telling everybody to get the fuck out of the way. I'm scared to take it and this shit is delayed. So 12, 12, 30. Yeah, that'll be good. Almost four. What are you looking at? Huh? Oh, I thought she was looking at something. Oh, no. <laughs> I was <laughs> praying. <laughs> There's also a show in Charlotte. Not that that's relevant. I just remember seeing Charlotte. You think about going? I don't know yet. I'm scared <laughs> to look at the prices. Okay. I was about to say that's not bad, but that is nosebleed. <laughs> I don't need to be in Club Renaissance, but... What's like the 100s? The 100s is giving $400. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Me and this had a sleepover last night. We didn't originally plan to, but it was so late and we was having so much fun. We made bracelets last night. Y'all, we didn't go to sleep till like six. And I just, just thought it's like nine. But yeah, I walk with her outside to get her car. She's going home and get ready. I'm finna get ready. And she's gonna come back and we're gonna go to brunch. Um, we're going to this Thai place. They have bottomless mimosas, but I don't think I'm gonna get bottomless mimosas because I have to be to the airport for like 
2 30 3 o'clock and i think um brunch starts at 11 30 and ends at 2 30 so that's kind of like perfect because my checkout is at 11. but yeah this one has my tiktok display name on it it's local fashion pixie and fashion is in black and white it's so cute and in this one i'm gonna wear it's just pink and white i'm gonna wear this to the barbie movie tonight when i'm in new york i should have vlogged last night but i like we were sitting in the beds doing the bracelets and we were just talking we talked for so long and i didn't feel like getting up to grab my camera it was right over here and y'all look at this little sign she made me to get me from the airport it's so cute one pair of pants later okay you can't even really see in my bathroom the lighting right here isn't the best hold on but yeah so cute my hair is so frizzy i'm pretending i love her and if i pretend it's a look then it's a look mm -hmm. and this is on her way back and y'all i don't know how i got that book set closed but I did. It's even denser than it was last night. Because the clothes I had on yesterday are thicker than what I have on right now. But and I want to put on a little bit of this Fenty. Because my lip balm is getting real cool. I don't know how I close that. Really truly don't. Okay. Keys to the room. I need to go. What time is it? I have to check out at 11. It's 10.25. Okay. I'm gonna try to vlog more because I really didn't vlog yesterday, but yesterday was a mess, y'all. Like, but I'm not gonna let that ruin the rest of the trip. No, but seriously, yesterday was yesterday was just so eh. But I'm gonna vlog more today, okay? I already switched that battery out. Okay, so I brought pink shoes, but these don't fit in my bag. So I'm gonna wear these until I get to Oh my god, I forgot I broke that yesterday. I'm gonna have to restitch this. Free. But yeah, I'm gonna put on my pink shoes when I actually get to my hotel in Soho because our tickets are for 8.30. God forbid that flight gets delayed. But yeah, these big heavy duty shoes, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Anyways, I look like I'm ready to go see Barbenheimer with these shoes on. Like I wanna see both and I'm not. Y'all see that top that I got from Forever 21, that tank. So freaking cute. I wish they had more colors. All they had was black and white. And I'm, I got both to wear on this trip. The, the outfit don't look bad with the black boots. It's just not giving what I wanted it to give. Not bad. It's not a bad fit. It's not a bad fit at all. But yeah, so I'm about to say goodbye. This is a really nice hotel. This is the Renaissance. There's two Renaissance hotels at the airport, but this one is the Airport Gateway Hotel. And then there was another one. Forgot the specific name of that one. But yeah, I showed y'all my sign last night. This is so cute. Like, ah. I've been having so much fun with this, but let me go down and check out. So I'm gonna talk to y'all when this gets here. Did I tell y'all Nis went to a Beyonce concert like a day ago? <laughs> All the way in Chicago. Like, I don't know how she functioning right now. <laughs> Literally, I'm on like probably five hours of sleep total. <laughs> but I'm okay. Like, that nap was good. It was. <laughs> it wasn't sleep. It was a nap. <laughs> Cause we devoured. It was so good. It was so good. No, it was spiritual. Like it was so good. <laughs> oh, see. What is it? Is the camera moving up and down? No. Nothing's moving. Okay. Three, two. <laughs> that was big. Okay, let me update y'all. So my flight got delayed again three hours and they took my seat so i don't know what that's about but i'm not stressing over it right now we gonna figure that out later but me and this are finna go see if we can watch the barbie, barbie movie and if not we're just gonna go in main event because it's right there and we were supposed to go to main event last night so this might be a redemption of some kind who knows 15 minutes later <laughs> let me see <come> easy <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay, as you can see, we neither in 
the movie theater. No, or no, no, in main we event. Go to main event. <laughs> okay, so we go to the movie theater. And we excited because we like, okay, they got Dolby at what, 345? No, that's the only one that's not sold out. We're yeah, like, yeah, it was the only one that wasn't sold out in like an hour from now. So we like, yeah, we clicking it and we see all the seats are empty. Well, no, we start clicking seats. We like, why is they not available? <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Like what? the only row that had seats was the front like, row. What's the opposite of nosebleeds? Cause that's what it was given. Like our necks would have been broke. We were trying to look at that screen. Instead of our noses bleeding, we looking up noses. <laughs> Yo. Literally. And then did I tell y'all that spirit took my seat? I don't know what happened, but they literally took my boarding pass with the last delay. The delay is to like nine o'clock. Cause the weather in New York, it decides to thunderstorm all of a sudden today. It was supposed to be clear skies this whole week in New York, in Atlanta, and Louisiana. And I was so excited. I was like, this was the perfect week. Mm. <laughs> no. She said, got you. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna chill. Cause she stays close to the airport. Yo, I feel like if I wasn't as tired as I am, I would be more upset and screaming right now. But I've been floating. That food was good. What that is drink. That but laugh? I think that drink is really the reason why I'm floating because I was already tired. Mind y'all, we slept a <laughs> three hour nap. We didn't even sleep. No. We, we napped. We woke up, the thing said two hours and 20 minutes. Not even three. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> 12 o'clock midnight I don't even remember what's the last time y'all saw me can't tell you um I did tell y'all that my flight to New York got delayed I'm in New York right now so I didn't really film at the airport because it just was a lot of people the plane like i was surrounded by kids i didn't have any kids in my row but there was kids across from me in front of me behind me diagonal both ways and all of them were screaming the one that was right in front of me had baby shark on loop blasting so like an hour and a half you know but yeah this hotel room is really like tiny but it's cute i obviously did not go to the bargain movie tonight like I was supposed to go tomorrow because first of all we didn't even really know all what we were doing tomorrow in the first place but I just ordered mousse for my hair really need to do something with my hair I can keep pretending it's a look or I can get my hair in my face and I should see my hair in my face so I am going to be using this hotel shampoo and conditioner tomorrow in the morning after my mousse gets here and then I will be drying it with that dryer somehow I just need the hair out my face, off my skin, like it's been irritating me. But it's awkward putting it in a ponytail because it's so thick, right? It's like just big right now. I don't know, but it's like been giving me sensory overload. You see how it just hit me in my eye? No. So yeah, that should be here by like 9 a.m. So I have to do all that. So I think I'm gonna wait to shower because I'm just gonna have to shower shampoo and conditioner off of me in the mousse because I do it in the shower. But yeah, so I'm gonna change into my pajamas, lower this these blinds so that don't wake me up. <laughs> I need to take these shoes off. That's what I need to do. I already got all my toiletries out. I should do my skincare routine just to wind down. But I literally, y'all, I'm about to fall. If it if it weren't for these thick shoes on, I would have I would have been collapsed. Like. First of all, all I ate today was brunch. And literally the only thing open right now is like Taco Bell. And I, I'd rather starve. No offense to my Taco Bell lovers. Right on. And you know. I need to put my batteries for my cameras to charge. Because I have not charged them since I left home. What was I about to say? I don't even remember. Actually, actually, I'd rather put this on. Because the bonnet is giving me a little bit of attention. Y'all, I miss Nissa already. Like, that's my girl. I don't know how many hours I've slept in the last 48, but I can tell you it's giving less than 10. Okay, we slept, we had like a two, three hour nap today. Two naps today. So like max five hours. So the last 24 hours, the last 24 hours I've got about five hours of sleep. 
And then before that, it wasn't a lot either because I was so anxious, excited, anxious about the trip. So I should have got something from the bodega before I came up. But I just wanted to come put that bag down, that heavy bag. So yeah, I'll see y'all tomorrow, I guess, when I start doing my hair. What's wrong with my lens? Hello? Is it blurry? I think I need to clean my lens. Day four. I slipped these clothes back on to go downstairs and pick up my Target order. You see how the world always works out for me? Because I also ordered a, um, a tote. I think I told y'all that. Not a tote, but like a little bag thing. A carry-on. Right? I really didn't want that, but the minimum order was $35 and I know I was gonna need a bag. I was planning on just buying a tote somewhere, like at a K-pop store or something. I kind of want the one that said Nam Jumin. But yeah, I just got, because I literally, after this in the bag that ended up being canceled, I still was one cent away from $35 for the minimum order. So I got another travel thing because I was squeezing the hell out of mine. But yeah, I'm about to take these clothes off again shower wash my hair well wash my hair shower and that work because this is going to be all over my shoulders so i have to actually wash my hair first and then get back in shower and then get dressed and then i told asada um like noonish i'll be ready so that gives me a lot of time i am going to be detangling with my freaking hands what if this water is hard i hope it don't like f up my hair I just hope it's some kind of filtering going on in here. I shouldn't have steamed my hair the other day. I finally wore these though <laughs> to go downstairs. I really shouldn't have brought these shoes. <laughs> They've been making my life so much harder. Okay, I'll talk to y'all <laughs> after I wash my when I'm doing this. Later. <laughs> I just realized I don't have nothing to like clip my hair up. Well, I do. I have a bunch of bobby pins. Where are the bobby pins? <laughs> I think I can work with two. I can work with two bobby pins. Ah. It's 10 30, I can order two for life. Girl, what am I supposed to do with this? Here's how I dried my curly hair without a diffuser while I was traveling. Okay. My camera is hot. So I'll talk to y'all after I shower. I freaking dropped my camera. I don't even know if that footage is gonna work because it said that um, it wanted to rewrite. Oh, I need to change this battery. But. Here's my outfit. Um, I kind of... Yeah. I still don't know what happened to that footage. I don't know if it's messed up. I hope it didn't mess up any, like, previous footage on that SIM card. Asada should be closed. So I'm not rushing to eat. But I need to finish. Turn that air on because it needs to be cold when I get back here. Whoa. Cold. He's still alive. Oh, she's here. Shit. 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 Okay. Oh my gosh, she's here. Okay. Okay. My hands are full. Okay. <gasps> I'm not forgetting anything. I should have took a picture on my phone before I left. But I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I see her. She's so cute! Hi! <laughs> oh my god! You look so pretty! Thank you, you too! <laughs>
<laughs> we the same height right now. I'm yeah. wearing all these boots. <laughs> what are we doing? Barnes and Noble. Okay. And K pop stores. We have to take the train twice. So okay. We might get on the Q train. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put this up because I need to eat. Why are you working against me? <laughs> and Jimmy's one is not here. You said what? Jimmy's one is not here. Oh shoot. Maybe that's for the best. True. <laughs> Yo, I am a tote girly now. Yo, why are my arms full again? <laughs> this is just cute. <laughs> Barbie. I have to keep JK to the curb. Yeah. Just, just a little bit. I still have it. Wait, you didn't even start it. Okay. Yeah. This is literally why I got it. Blonde doesn't count because this is a natural blonde. Exactly, exactly. Pink is wrong. Didn't they say this was like their favorite to shoot? I don't know. Wait, you didn't read the book yet. No. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Did you see his pictures on Weaver this morning? No, I didn't see anything. He posted um, military pictures. Who? Jen. <laughs> the selfie got to me. I was like, oh my god. Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, are we I supposed to know who this is? Okay. 
Y'all, when we were leaving the Disney store, the lady at the door was like, you missed the, what did she say? The leather jacket. Yeah. Had you like she was like, you just missed the mark. And I was like, I didn't even know it. what to say. I should say thank you. <laughs> but we saw a leather jacket in um, Urban Outfitters, but it was BDG and it was like um, $100. But it was really cute. There was a lot of cute stuff in the BDD section in Urban Outfitters, but y'all know I get that up. That's too <laughs> expensive. She says with an arm full of books <laughs> in a bag full of K-pop albums. 8.01 p.m. Hello, I am back at my NYC hotel. Y'all, what time is it? I can't even grab my phone. I can't even grab my phone. Yeah, we've been on go since noon. It is 8.06. I feel so bad. I didn't know she had like an hour commute over here. We're going to this pancake place, this brunch place tomorrow to have those souffle pancakes that I always see on social media. Those little jiggly pancakes that's like super soft. I brought a $6 mini Sprite. And then the thing is, this not even a Mexican Sprite. It's just regular Sprite in a bottle. I was trying to get some sugar in me because, because I need some more fluids. I also brought an Evian water and it's one of those little fancy ones and it's freezing cold. So I'm gonna let it get hot. It's hot in here. It say it's 67 degrees in here and that is BS. But yeah, do y'all want a haul? Because I went kind of crazy today. But I think it's good because I did not really spend in Atlanta. Like, what did I buy in Atlanta? First of all, Nis was gracious enough to drive me around. I didn't think she was gonna drive me around the whole time. I thought that like, she just was gonna pick me up from the airport on that first day and then, you know, I was just going over everywhere else. But no, we were like stuck to each other's hip the whole time. So like, she drove me everywhere. So I didn't really spend on Uber at all. I'm trying to like justify my choices before I show y'all my, <laughs> before I show y'all and, <sighs> Still gonna be like Sierra, especially the ones that don't know, that don't get it. They're gonna be like Sierra, really. But I'll give y'all everything that I brought was stuff that none of it was like impulse, but none of it was like I saw for the first time we needed it. Everything that I brought was stuff that I've wanted this year at some point in time and probably didn't have the money or was like, let me wait so I have something to buy on this trip. So a lot of the manga was just let me wait until i have something about this trip and then the k-pop stuff was stuff that i wanted but just it just came out or when it came out it sold out before i can get it which is the things that i probably should have got things that i wasn't gonna get unless i spent less in atlanta which i did so we start first with the tote that i brought okay i did plan on buying a tote but i wasn't planning on buying like a bt21 tote but i did i got a tata -ta tote Cause it has red and blue like i have on my shirt and i just needed something to hold my stuff like when we when asada first came get me i had a bunch of stuff in her bag because i have like i had pockets but yeah we got from like this little food court in koreatown yeah these nails are really cute i'm gonna show them to you but let me get everything out first i got one album that's the new jeans album i got the blue one because i have enough pink stuff on my desk already and then i got this album because when i sold my vinyls and stuff I wasn't planning on selling my K-pop albums, but when I asked the girl if she wants to see all the albums that I had, she's like, I seen BTS and I like them. And I was like, I wanted to tell her like, I wasn't selling that. But then I didn't know how to tell her like, cause it, it was in the picture, but that's just because it was in my bookcase and I had the music together. So I just, I was like, you know what? These are always in stock in Target. I can just buy another one. Let me just send it to her because I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know how to go about it. I just was being socially awkward. So I sold my albums on accident. Okay, this is what I splurged on. Y'all ready? I don't think y'all ready. Vampire JK. <laughs> and by Greek mythological BDSM Janet. <laughs> Cause he have, he have a lot going on in here. Yeah, I just, yeah, how much were these? 70 and 69.95. I wanted these when they released and every time one released, it would sell out so freaking fast. And I feel like JK's ones never came back in stock cuz they did do restocks, never came back in stock. And I don't remember if Jimmy Tech came back in stock or not. But yeah. 
And these are going on my bookcase. Okay, now we're going through my Barnes and Noble stuff. Um, I did pay for a carry-on bag. So what I need to figure out though is how am I going to bring the manga? And I did buy a book to read on the plane. Asada recommended it to me. Oh, I brought Imani. Uh, um, Imani wanted a Dumbledore. First of all, I had to ask Asada who Dumbledore was because I did not know. I need to change this battery. But yeah, every time I go to the bookstore with Imani, she goes to her part section and looks for a wand. And it's so disappointing. Like, it's probably been over a year since she started doing that. I don't even remember her reading Harry Potter. But I know she's been wanting for a while. And I told her. I had told her that I was gonna get her something stitched from the Disney store, but they didn't really have a, they had like Hawaii shirt print flower stitch, and then they had a pride stitch that is kind of scary looking to me. Yeah, they didn't really have nothing. I was hoping to get her like, I don't know, a blanket, a towel, a shirt, a ball, a little toy, something, but they didn't, they didn't have nothing. Anyways, she's really excited about this and she had just I, this is kind of fake. She she must have knew She had just called me like before I saw the Harry Potter section So then I had called her back. I need to call her after I finish this haul actually. So for MHA <laughs> Y'all know how I get the analysis I was supposed to get so long ago. I've been like avoiding like the little fun facts and stuff from this book because I wanted to read it by myself. This might end up being my plan read if I don't get into that book I brought specifically to read on the plane. And I usually don't buy physical books until I read them. Besides manga, I'm talking about like books books. I'm gonna tell y'all why I ignored my rule about not buying a physical book. Um, team Up Missions, because this one came out a couple months ago, the third one. Yeah, I think the fourth one came out too, but it hasn't been translated. And then the latest release. 35, I feel like, came out. 35 was the one with Toga on it, right? That one's out, but it's not translated to English yet. So we don't have that one yet. But yeah, this is Star and Stripe. She served her purpose, though. You know, she did her thing. And I brought um the rest of Vigilantes because Vigilantes finished a little while ago. But it just got announced like a month ago that they're going to do, after MHA is done, they're animating Vigilante. So I never finished the story. So I said I need to finish it. And I also never finished, because I stopped reading the story, I stopped buying the manga. So I was behind, but it turns out that I wasn't that far behind. 14 was the last volume. And then this is the book. It's really cute. We deserve Monuments. And this right here, my favorite series from childhood has this award, the Coretta Scott King Award. And also y'all know Legendborn is my favorite series as an adult. So my favorite series as a child and my favorite series as an adult has this award. And Asada was telling me about it and then we read the summary together and I was like, I can, I'm gonna read this on the plane. Like, and then it's not that, it's not that big, it's not that long of a read. And it's fine. This might end up being, you know, one of my favorite authors. But yeah, this, this right here got me to overlook my no buying physicals until you know you like the book. Because I, I know I'm going to love it. And she got that lip piercing, a little spider bite. Y'all, I think I'm going to get a tongue piercing when I go home. Because I've just been putting it off. I've been wanting one for a while. Like, I already have one and I love it. But... I don't know. I don't know. I just, I think, because I used to know how to make this one click on my teeth just a bit, but I have to do the most to make it click. And I just want something easy to do when I'm stressed. But yeah, let me show you the nails. The nails are really cute. I should, oh snap. Well, I don't know where all these looks are gonna go. I'm thinking them Jordans might get left. But yeah, I'm gonna call Imani and show y'all both the nails. The way they've been talking about me in the group chat, they wanted Asada to kidnap me so bad. Girl, answer. What if I was in trouble? I wouldn't be calling Imani, but. My hair is so flat today compared to yet, like, it's, it's, it's giving nothing. It's giving nothing. I'm still that girl at the Disney store that said I had missed the mark of Brad's rock angels. I had just, Girl, she must not want to see my nails. Should I put them on tonight? I'll be mad if like I lose one in the airport though. And I can't do my hair with them, but it's nothing to do to my hair. Look how cute. They're chrome tips. Oh, now she wants to call. 
Imani said hello. Hey, Reese. Hey, baby. Did he just hang up the phone? Did he? Click the oh, he was licking the screen and accidentally hung it up. Hey, baby. I miss you, Reese. I miss you. He turned his head. I miss you, baby. Look, y'all. My baby. Oh. She said the what? <laughs> I forgot how many friends I have in New York. <laughs> One of my friends said she just left to go to Jersey, which is really close to where I am. Well, not really close, but I'm closer to Jersey than like anywhere else in New York. And my other friend Jasmine, she wants to go eat, but I forgot she said she wants to go eat. But I can eat right now. I do need to rest my feet for a little bit. And I don't know where she's going to eat. She's on her period though, so. She said her uterus was killing her. But I texted her to see how she's feeling right now. Is she still up for it or not? I mean, so I'm going to wait until she texts back to like get undressed. You know what I'm saying? Before I get undressed, I'm literally taking stuff off. <laughs> As I'm saying that. The following day. I love you. This is my first time wearing these jeans. I need to go. I'm finna. Lord, I just saw a spirit notification. That's another delay. Anyways, I didn't even. I still didn't make my hair big. I, I, I don't want to do it. But I'm about to go check out and walk to the brunch place. And Sada should be meeting me there. Like for like 10. It's like almost 9 40. So yeah, this is my perfect time. It's a 10 minute walk from here. The way I'm seriously leaving these freaking shoes and this full thing of new stuff. No one mind at home is empty. I'm about to buy another one. Or go steal one from my grandmother's closet. But yeah, I'm really leaving these. Like they are staying here, I fear. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. Me and this are walking around okay. little five points right now. We went to a crystal shop and I got this. I think I showed y'all when we were in the crystal shop. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Many hours later. Okay, I am back home. I am literally so tired and this camera is dying. But I'm home, it's 2 a.m. I'm eating McDonald's. But yeah, I have fun, I'm tired. I wanna lay down. <laughs> yeah, this camera is dying. <laughs> Three weeks later. Ignore my hair. It's all stretched out because I just shaped it because I kept noticing the shape of it while I was editing. But anyways, I never filmed an outro, but I completely forgot. Also, where is my clip? I just had a hair clip. But yeah, the reason this video took three weeks is because I only had like an urge to edit like once per week. And each day I would like edit for hours and then I wouldn't touch my computer for another like seven or so days. But anyways, I just wanted to come and tell y'all like I really enjoyed the trip. I'm trying to remember what did I even do because like I said it was three weeks ago. I don't know. It was just so comfortable with them girls. I didn't specify how long we had been like internet friends but I've known Asada for like both of them at least two years. Yeah, y'all saw we went to Waffle House. We had the sleepover where we made friendship bracelets. And then we went to brunch, and we went shopping a bit, and then my flight got delayed. So we ended up watching anime and taking a nap at her apartment after the whole bust with Barbie movie and main event. <laughs> the next day, me and Asada, girl, what did we do? Girl, I don't even remember. We went to K-Town. I was looking for the Smith, the Smiskies, 
the little the little y'all know those surprise pulls toys it's one of those it's the ones that like glue in the dark and they got like they look like a, a smiley face i don't know how to explain it but i want some so bad but we we didn't find any but yeah we went to k-town y'all saw all of that we walked around times square did some shopping i didn't really i don't think i really bought anything while we were like walking around times square we went book shopping unbox some albums we got boba y'all like i literally just went to hang out with my internet friends because i just one day i just was like it's been too long i've been knowing y'all too long to say i've never seen y'all like i'm tired of calling y'all my internet friends and y'all my actual friends so i was like so i'm coming to see y'all so when so now i can actually say like be friends i used to say it before but like to other people it's like but you never met them. How do you even know? Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, but yeah, that's literally why I made that trip. Just so I could say I met them. <laughs> and just so we could hang out. I didn't really film the last day. That's why I needed to make this outro. I didn't really film the last day. And that's because I was like, it was the last day. And I didn't, I wasn't really thinking about pulling out my phone and stuff. Because I was like, dang, like I'm going home today. Like, I just was more in the moment. Not to say I wasn't in the moment during the other days. Because I was. Because I didn't even film that much. Even though this video is like, I hour long and i don't know how asada said the same thing she was like an hour she was like girl you didn't even pull out that camera much and i was like exactly the last day what did i do in new york we went to brunch that was pretty much it we went to brunch and then it was flights and that book that book that asada recommended to me she didn't even read it that's the crazy part she didn't even read it somebody else recommended it to her and said it was good and i saw i already told y'all why i picked the book out i started the book when i was at the airport in new york and new york new york, whatever i was fighting tears by the time i got on the plane and we was in, in the air girl the tears was falling did i finish it on the on that flight i don't think i did i don't think i finished it until the flight leaving from atlanta girl that's a good book what is the book y'all that's a good book we deserve monuments that is a good book what did we do in atlanta and atlanta we was walking around little five points i kept getting so many compliments on my jeans and I think that's like my favorite pair of jeans too. Like them jeans, the, the jeans that's in the thumbnail. Yeah. I need to tell y'all that. I got a story time about that rose quartz bracelet that I got. And that's why I ain't never missed on the crystals before. We still like, I don't even know if it's like worth a whole story time video. I might just say it story in another video. But it's it's funny. Yeah, we had fun. Me and Nish, the last day, I only pulled my camera out when we were like, when we were at lunch. We went to a different Thai place that she had said she goes to. They fried rice was so good. Y'all, Thai food is so good. And they don't really have any Thai restaurants out here and if they do it's like a fusion i feel like every like cultural restaurant that opens in louisiana decides to make it fusion food so it's never really like authentic to the culture because it's always a mix of our culture with like it's always like they even just opened up a, a creole cajun korean spot in new orleans can we just it's like, can I just get something without <laughs> Tony's in it? Can I get something without Tony's? Because even at that first Thai restaurant, I had I like to order like Cajun Creole dishes when I'm out of the state, so I can like talk trash. But they stuff was good, and I could tell it didn't have no Tony's in it, but it did have like a Creole taste to it. But it was like a sweetness, and not like your not like your mama throwing sugar in spaghetti sweetness. Cause I hate that. No, it was like a different type of sweetness that actually like complemented the savory. I don't know how to explain it because I hate like people throwing sweet stuff into savory foods, but it was good. I'm talking about it was the shrimp and I want them to like the sauce. Put it on some pasta. Like next time I'm in Atlanta, like I'm gonna ask them or like I'm gonna order like two and ask for just pasta noodles and, and make it myself at the table. I don't know, but it was good. Yeah, like I was saying, the only time I pulled out was when we were laughing because we was having like a deep conversation. <laughs> like, like you know, like not serious, serious topics, but like just we was having a good conversation. And JK went live and we stopped dry. I opened it. He's naked. He don't have no clothes on. And I'm like, whoa, the how we in the restaurant looking around like... And we could not stop laughing. Literally just leaving the restaurant, going to the car, still laughing our ass off like can't even walk straight <laughs> y'all i yo i had so much fun on that trip like y'all saw how much fun i had and also there was another thing when we were in urban outfitters the last day in atlanta there was a dress that i had seen in new york that i was like oh i love this but it's 
$80. But then when I seen it again in Atlanta, I tried it on. Because, I don't know, in New York, I wasn't getting in no lines to try on the clothes. I really wasn't. Also, they taxing up there in New York. I don't know what's going on. My my spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A, not the meal, the sandwich was like $14 after I added my cheese and my bacon. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And it was something else I brought. I was like, what is going on? But yeah, I did not buy the dress in Atlanta. But as soon as I got home, I think within 24 hours, I ordered the dress. And also, I was thinking about, like, y'all saw me. I was looking at tickets for when Beyonce comes to New Orleans. She comes in September. And I was thinking, like, that dress with some platinum silver cowboy boots would look real cute. Because the dress gives, like, Southern Belle. Not even Southern Belle. It gives, like, Lil Farm Girl. But it's denim. It's thick and it's heavy and it's like it's a shapeless dress and it's a mini dress too it's but it gives me like a silhouette of like you would see like a little girl running around in the grass it's really really cute like i i love it and it's just let me grab it this is the dress i'm gonna put it up here so y'all can see it this is maybe i should insert the video of me trying it on so y'all can actually see how it looks on me because because it's shapeless you can't really see it's like compressed from when it was in the package getting shipped but in store they were a lot more floofy so you could see the shape better but yeah so that's in the video that's in the vlog um, I have fun. I think my next solo trip, besides, because I'm definitely going to go back to visit my friends eventually. But my next, like, planned solo trip is probably going to be abroad. I wanted to, like, take a few solo trips within the States before I go try to do it out of the States. And that's also why the last two trips that I vlogged, y'all saw that I had a backpack instead of in a suitcase. Because I'm not bringing no suitcase with me to be, you know, especially if I'm going places where, you know, where to roll, no bag. But yeah, I really want to go. I don't even know if I want to tell y'all where I want to go. But I do have my next destination planned. And I'm keeping a secret not only from y'all, but from my family too. Because my mom has a, a travel business, business. I don't do business with her. But my mom has a travel business. I feel like she stays on this hemisphere. But she wants to do more like trips like that. But she don't want to go by herself. She brought it up like the other day. And she was like, yeah, because when you go to so-and-so, I'm coming. She said, I'm, I'm going to book a trip and I'm going to come. She said, you just go see me at the airport with you. No, you're not, because I'm not telling nobody. I'm not telling nobody to the day before when I need my brother to drive me to the airport. Yeah. So, <laughs> she thinks she's going to follow me, and she's not. She's not going to see this, because she says my videos are boring, and she never. I don't think she ever really watches them. She just plays them. Imani is probably going to watch it to her. She's not coming with me, so I need her to know that. <laughs> I, need her, I need her to get that through her mind, that she's not coming with me. To another country, I'm not going to be stuck well. No. No. But yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I know y'all gonna be asking about my outfits. That's what I plan in next to do because I have bags that of clothes that I need to sell to y'all. So I'm gonna be using Poshmark because that's usually where I thrift. Last time I did this though, I did use Depop, but we're gonna be using Poshmark this time, guys, because I don't know, Poshmark been holding me down since middle school. Anyways, oh my God, how did this clip end up 20 minutes? Okay, no, I gotta get this down to about five. Mm. Bye, yo.